got a problem Ain't nothing I can do about it I barely slept a wink for at least a week and a half Drake Milligan was born in Arlington, Texas, on June 1, 1998, to James and Angela Milligan. He is an American actor, singer and songwriter best known for performing Elvis Presley character on the CMT series Sun Records and also featured in a film called Nobody where he portrayed a character of young teen Elvis. He has also auditioned on American Idol season 16 and America's Got Talent season 17 securing second runner on the show after finale result. Milligan has already charted before AGT with the singles Sounds Like Something I Do and Canadian country music Honky Tonkin. I think I'm in trouble. Hell, I know I'm in trouble. It's when a guy like me gets hooked on something. About, he was greatly influenced by the country music his father always listened to, particularly American country singer, songwriter, Merle Haggard, as well as an entertainer Elvis impersonator he watched perform at a nearby restaurant. After performing locally as an Elvis impersonator, himself, Milligan received a casting call by CMT for the role of Elvis Presley in their TV series Sun Records. He ended up landing the part which needed him to relocate from Texas to Nashville, Tennessee, while he was studying in senior year of high school. Your kids taste like whiskey, and I'm a drinker. You play with my heart strings, and girl, I'm a singer. No, it ain't no joke, you're a smoke show. FMTP-TV bring each detail about Drake Milligan before and after the AGT? Before moving ahead just spare a few seconds to like, comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP-TV channel. Milligan also participated on American Idol in 2018 but eventually didn't further continue his journey and dropped out. I decided that I wasn't quite ready for that platform yet, and that it would be a better step for me to move to Nashville and focus on my music first, he explained. While in Nashville, Milligan also auditioned for a recording contract with BBR Music Group. The same music group initially rejected him, but later the label signed him after six months. Yeah. He released his own titled debut extended play in July 2021, which was produced by Tony Brown. He released another Christmas song entitled Cowgirl for Christmas on October 22, 2021. Milligan and his band auditioned on America's Got Talent 2022, impressed all four judges and received four enthusiastic yes votes for his stunning performance of an original song, Sounds Like Something I Do. On AGT's Results Night, September 13, 2023, Drake and his band made a special appearance performing his new single, I Got a Problem. I got a problem, but what a damn good problem to have. Yeah, I was a two-step Lone Ranger, you got my wild side. In 2023, Milligan's debut album, Dallas, Fort Worth was released, he collaborated with the Reclaws on the single, Honky Tonkin, about. He released the single, I Got a Problem, on September 7, 2023. Why Drake Milligan returned on AGT 2023. Before further proceeding, please don't forget to appreciate the hard work of FMTP TV channel by just clicking the like and share button. Danger. Yeah, you got me dancing around the kitchen down the hall and up the stairs, I swear, I ain't got a prayer, your kids taste like whiskey. On September 13, 2023, the country singer Drake Milligan and AGT Season 17 finalists deliver a show-stopping performance during Season 18's fourth live results show. There, he performed his original song, I Got a Problem. During his high-energy stunning performance, he fluently murmured the romantic lyrics. When he plunked his guitar, the drums and background vocals also pitched in, and all the judges clapped along to the beat. I'm a drinker, you play with my heart strings, girl I'm a singer, no it ain't no joke, you're a smoke show, and I'm a marble. After he finished the performance, Judge Simon Cowell greatly impressed. Gushed and remarked, he did amazing. Drake, I want to congratulate you on everything you've done after the show. 
I've always said that you're gonna be a real superstar, and you are. And what a great song, he concluded. Judge Howie Mandel suddenly stepped in and explained, the new Elvis of country, He'd go on to achieve his first-ever CMT Music Award nomination later that year for his original song, Landing a Nod In. The Breakthrough Male Video of the Year category. In January 2023 he also performed on The Kelly Clarkson Show. In 2021, Milligan released his self-titled debut EP and in 2022 he released his debut album Dallas, Fort Worth. According to his website. He's currently on tour across the US. He described his creative influences for the U.S. tour project. Mine were mainly George Strait and Elvis. Along with a lot of Alan Jackson, Randy Travis, and George Jones, he disclosed. That's what my mom and dad listened to, so my earliest music memories emerged from that. As I was writing, I learned and experienced that the best sad songs are bittersweet and even a little hopeful. I love that tradition in country music, how sad songs can help you feel understood. Your kids taste like whiskey. I'm a drinker, you play with my heart strings, and girl, I'm a singer. No, it ain't no joke, you're a smoke show. That's the magic, because not everything in life is sunshine and rainbows. Drake Milligan is originally from Fort Worth, Texas, but to pursue a career in country music he also moved to Nashville, Tennessee, he also explained his reasoning behind the transition on his website. There's no way I could have made this record in Texas. The songwriters and players here are the best in the world. I don't want to ever lose my roots, but Nashville is like no other place in the world. He wrote. The reason I came to Nashville is because all of my heroes are here. All the guys who wrote and played on my favorite songs are still so good. They wake up every day and want to write the best song they can. I wanted to learn something from every writer. Writing with those songwriters was a rite of passage for me. The America's Got Talent Season 17 finalist is hitting an extended list of USA cities from March to October of 2024. As Howie Mandel gives Drake Milligan a new name. As the new Elvis of country. I don't hear no thunder. I don't see no rain, but she's got the bedroom looking like a cat to her cane. She's looking in the mirror. Milligan will be playing a series of original tracks while on the road, fingers crossed that he'll play the award-winning Sounds Like Something I Do. In 2021 Drake Milligan released his debut self-titled. He explained the process of creating his album, The Songwriters and Players Here Are the Best in the World. I don't want to ever lose my roots, but Nashville is like no other place in the world. The reason I came to Nashville is because all of my heroes are here. All the guys who wrote and played on my favorite songs are still so good. They wake up every day and want to write the best song they can. I wanted to learn something from every writer. Writing with those songwriters was a rite of passage for me. And I'm looking at her, she's cussing underneath her breath, and I ain't saying a word. Probably ought to get going. For gonna make a reservation. What is the reality of the rumor about Drake Milligan Road accident? Please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. On Monday, April 17, Drake Milligan and his band were in a collision while traveling between Fort Worth and Georgetown, Texas. Drake and his crew were moving to two-step in when a tire flew into their van resulting in it hitting the concrete median. Drake and most of his band members suffered injuries and were treated at the hospital, but all have since been released and Drake Milligan with his band started their tour on road again on April 28. Looks beautiful to me, but right now she's hating everything she tries on, but I The band is slated to play on the main stage at Stagecoach Music Festival in Indio, California, that day, and then will continue with the rest of its tour schedule. Drake, who placed third on season 17 of America's Got Talent, 
posted on Instagram. Happy to report that we're all upright and heading home. High voltage we got in quite the fender bender on the way to a two-steppin, but we're all on the mend. We really appreciate all the love and well wishes. She keeps saying I'm sorry it's taking so long. She don't know I'm loving watching her, hating everything she tries on. A special thank you to Mark Bogart with at Branch King Blinds who got the boys back to Nashville safely. Another big thank you to the fine folks at the Two Step In Festival who immediately sent a truck to us to put all of our gear in. Lots to be grateful for. We're gonna rest up, see y'all at at Stagecoach real soon. By saying this we come to the end of the video please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Thank you for watching the video. While she's hating everything she tries on, but I